the ayes are 50, the nays are 48. The nomination of Brett M. Kavanaugh of Maryland to be an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is confirmed. A controversial confirmation after a contentious debate for the ages, the Senate narrowly votes to confirm Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. Protests have since sparked across the country. This was the closest vote for a Supreme Court nominee in more than 130 years. Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. The United States Senate voted this afternoon to confirm him following a bitter and partisan standoff. This is a new picture of Kavanaugh taking the oath of office to become the 114th Supreme Court Justice within the last hour. The only thing both sides really agreed on during this entire debate is that this is a, quote, low moment in Senate history. CBS News correspondent Kenneth Craig has the latest. By a count of 50 to 48, the Senate confirmed Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the nation's highest court. He was sworn in in a private ceremony shortly afterward. Today um, begins a new chapter in American history where the Supreme Court will move significantly to the right. Hope this is bottom. If it's not, God help us all. The confirmation capped off a bitter partisan fight defined by allegations that Judge Kavanaugh sexually assaulted Dr. Christine Blasey Ford when both were teenagers. A brief FBI investigation turned up no corroborating witnesses. Democrats and Republicans blamed each other for the spectacle. It has been cruel, reckless, and indecent. I believe Republican leaders and President Trump did everything they could to hide the facts. Protesters in the gallery tried several times to interrupt the vote. Outside, they spent the day in vocal objection to Kavanaugh as Capitol Police hauled off some demonstrators in handcuffs. I was here to protest when Anita Hill wasn't believed, and I can't believe I'm back here again for the same reason. Kavanaugh also had supporters in the crowd. The reality is that our judicial system is based on the presumption of innocence. President Trump had glowing words for Kavanaugh. We have a great new Supreme Court justice, and he's going to be there for many years. Both Democrats and Republicans have suggested the confirmation showdown could energize voters in November's midterm elections. Kenneth Craig for CBS3 Eyewitness News.